Hi everyone, we want to take you inside of our video podcast studio. We converted this building to a space that we now run an agency out of. So we want to give you the inside tour. I've been putting off this video for a long time. So check it out, here we go. So before we go inside, thanks Adrian for being here. And I've been putting off making this video for a long time. So back in February of 2020, we got into this space. We should cut some of this footage. I put out an ask. Uh, for Patreon support to move what was a podcast, YouTube studio that was in my dining room into this space. So I had all this equipment and gear. I was working in church ministry. I've been working in church ministry for 10 years. And then I decided, what if we could move into a space like this? So we put out a call and we had, I mean, amazing supporters of the podcast we've been running, supporters of just like what we were trying to build here. And so we went out on a limb, took a leap of faith and moved into this space. We were on a limited budget <laughs> to try to turn this space into like a video podcast production space. Then in October of 2020, uh, later that same year, I quit my parish ministry job and moved straight into this full time. And now we're running a digital marketing agency creative studio out of here. So we've been putting off doing this tour for a while. Um, so let me just give you a little bit behind the scenes. So there's four rooms in this building. We wanted to make them as versatile as possible for shooting videos, photography. Uh, we wanted to make it a rental space. So this is the front room, uh, lots of Ikea furniture. We have, this is where I work most of the time. This is a sit stand desk. Well, actually it's a, it's a adjustable height workbench from Home Depot. Husky adjustable height workbench. This is really nice. You can crank it up and down. Um, I have my setup here and my main Mac that I use for editing. And we also do some streaming and recording and stuff here. Um, we have these two chairs here. I was thinking, how do we make this space as flexible as possible? So we've used these chairs for the podcast, the video podcast production room. Um, everything can kind of move around. So this is our front space. Kind of nice. Our motto here, heart speaks unto heart. It's kind of nice there. Some uh, Aaron Draplin designs, poster designs. Shout out to him. This is the, this is the best room, so we'll do that last. We have a bathroom here. That's not that fun. It's not that fun at all. Uh, this was the receptions desk, or this reception area. Um, we've turned this into, as you can see, a place where we can edit, people can come and work. Uh, so that's really cool in here. Let's shout out to Nick Gutierrez, who helped me rip out a bunch of this stuff and replace it. Um, and then we have another room here. We call this the white room. This is just another photography. We got the different colored backdrops and photography and video production in here. Um, when I was at my church job, I did a few podcasts and stuff out of here, or just church announcements. Um, we also sometimes bring a table in here and people will work in here. So we call this the white room. Everything was done on a pretty tight budget. <laughs> so like this mirror right here, Adrian. Say hi, Adrian, get yourself in the shot. So this, this mirror, uh, I think this is from like a shower or a bathroom. Someone was getting rid of it. And we just grabbed that for, you know, effect. And then this is our kitchen. The kitchen is pretty nice. It's a little dirty. See, the reason, you know, you see all these videos on YouTube of people showing a tour of their space and you always put it off because you're like, oh, it's not clean enough. It's not perfect. Just like one last thing. I put this off for over a year. But anyways, so we were on a budget. So we got butcher block from, again, from Home Depot. We just ripped out the original countertop. When we ripped out the countertop, um, we also realized we might as well replace the sink. And shout out to Danny and Madison Milliken who were getting rid of their sink at the time. So we grabbed this really nice um, metal sink here and replaced that. And then we just painted the cabinets black. There's storage up there. Our really nice retro fridge that's normally full of Topo Chico. It was empty right now because we drank it all. Uh, this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade was gifted by Chris and Courtney around the time they came here and helped me renovate the studio. Uh, they gifted us that, so that's fun. And in this wall, so, so the idea for this space was this is another space where we can set up for photography, video, um, for the show. When we take pictures of our guests, we use this as a backdrop. It's just another backdrop, video, podcasts, you know, stuff like that. Everything also is as much as possible on wheels. So we have different, you know, you could, boom. You set up and do a coffee review or product review or something in here. And then uh, sometimes we sit here and eat lunch. Not that often. And then we have this, well, that doesn't work. Ah. Anyways, we have a really big backyard. We've had events out there. 
Uh, we can't do much to it because it's technically the, the people next door. Shout out to Molar MMA. The people next door, they own that space, but they let us do events and stuff. We had like outdoor concerts and things. Um, so that's pretty much it for in here. All right, so now the best room. And again, I just want to stop and say, I've been putting off making videos like this. Really, what I've wanted to do is just show everyone that supported us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash the studio grapevine to support us doing all of this here, all this creative work and collaboration with other creatives. I just wanted to show you like what, what we've done with this space, you know, a year later. So this couldn't be possible without you guys. So my favorite room, here we go. Okay, so this is the studio space. So this is where we do the show. We've recorded other people's podcasts here. Again, we wanted everything to be flexible. So there's three different backdrops that we can use. There's lights on the ceiling, you know, LED lights, way, you know, it seems like a ton of lights. Um, we installed this overhead. This is just, um, oh my gosh, what's, it's just, uh, why am I blanking on what this is called? It's just piping. It's piping from, it's like steel pipe from Home Depot again. And we can put overhead uh, C clamps to put mics from the ceiling or uh, put overhead cameras for things. Um, this is the famous table from the show. This used to be, this is what I used in my dining room that was turned into a studio and all the guests from the show would sign it when they would come over to my house and be on the show. I have them sign it. So this is the table. This moves around a lot in this space. Um, we have this backdrop here where we can throw curtains across or do the, the show backdrop. Oh, there's two windows that we just put blackout curtains. And then with this wall here, we can change out the colored, colored paper and have different backdrops there. So you see like, we want that back, that nice black backdrop or other colors. Um, we put a lot of sound panels on the ceiling. And then this, Nick Gutierrez helped me install this. So there's actually a window behind here, uh, which is kind of hot in the summer. But this is a French cleat system. So what that means is it's very easy to make these little, these little shelves, right? And so these can move along this super easily. And um, that makes this whole wall, you can either take everything down and have a wood backdrop, uh, or you can put up stuff and move it all around really easily. Um, we recorded uh, our parish podcast, our church podcast here with this backdrop a lot, and we've used it for a lot of things. So that's kind of nice, really awesome. Highly recommend this French cleat system. Nick made that happen for us. Okay, now the production closet. So my friend Chris came when we were uh, renovating the studio and we converted this closet into a production booth. So we put in this uh, desk here, this desk setup. Um, we got some storage space, we got more gear storage space. And let me kind of see if I can get this up and running. Cool, so let me show you our little system for doing video podcast where we uh, we edit live to the tape or live to the video and then at the end of it we have the audio for podcasts and we have the video we upload straight to YouTube and Facebook. So we're running a Rodecaster Pro. Um, we have a snake that runs out to the table here and all the microphones. We also have a headphone amp out there. And then we have the ATEM Mini Pro where we're running three GH5s, the HDMI signal into the ATEM Mini Pro. We're running all of that into a Mac Mini and you can see we're recording in OBS. Now the secret here is that the audio from the Rodecaster, in order to sync everything up perfectly, the audio from the Rodecaster goes out into our camera here, and then that audio and video runs together into the A10 Mini Pro. And then as you can see, you know, our producer here can switch the cameras on the fly. We even have a producer cam here where Adrian and Kyle sit. Um, so we also through OBS can start the intro music and the, the intro video. Um, we record live, you know, we have microphone back here, microphones out there. Also we're broadcasting using, um, Apple TV. We're duplicating this screen on this monitor out here, uh, so that everyone out there can see, you know, if we pull up stuff, um, you know, if we pull up like links or videos and stuff and we can listen to it out there. So it's a really nice setup. We're able to, I mean, what would you say, Adrian? We have like 30 minutes of prep-ish. We sit down, record, and then within 15 minutes of, that we're done recording, it's all uploaded to the Google Drive and everywhere else we need it. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, and we have a little stream deck here where we run some little macros and some little stuff where we can do picture in picture and stuff like that. 
So that's this production closet that this is, I mean, this has been a lot of work put into making the little, you know, the process is better and the system better, but I think we've come a long ways. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Adrian, for helping me get this video done. I've been putting this off forever, but thank you so much to all the, um, the supporters on Patreon that have made the studio possible, that have believed in this. I mean, it started out as a podcast, now it's turned into a studio. Now we've also launched a digital marketing and creative studio called Bummer and Lazarus. So that's not even fully launched yet, but you can go to bummerandlazarus.co. Let me know if you're following on YouTube. I want to share more of this journey of building this space, building a, an agency and creative studio, and also you know running a podcast. So let me know in the comments if you want us to do a deeper dive into the actual systems we use and how we work with our team. So we have a bunch of people in the agency that we work with to run our video podcasts, social media accounts, and stuff like that. Let us know. And again, thank you so much to everyone on Patreon. Could not have done this without you. I'm excited. We've been doing, we've been hosting events now and then here. We've been having people uh, over. We've met creatives like Adrian and other people that are local. So we're really excited to be building a creative studio here in Grapevine, Texas. If you're in town, let us know. Come on over. All right, that's it. Take care, guys. Bye.